Hey, what's up everyone? It's Frankie with Meekspace.org. Today I wanted to show you how to add a pop-up scripture to a PDF file. Now, the reason you'd want to do that is uh, up until uh, now, most of us uh, that use Apple devices usually use EPUB files so that we can get the links to the scriptures and uh, I myself I use iBooks because I like to be able to click on a link to a scripture and have it bring up a pop-up with the scripture in it it's just a lot uh, more fluid it feels better than having it uh, clicking on the link and having it go to a different page to read the scripture than clicking a link to come back um, as of right now uh, I've been using, when I use my Android, I can't find an application that will uh, give me a pop-up scripture. I have to be taken to a different page, read the scripture, click a link to come back. But if you use this method, you'll be able to get pop-up scriptures on Android and your Apple devices. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is visit the uh, internet and go to uh, tracker-software.com backslash product backslash downloads and download PDF Exchange Viewer and click on the EXE installer here and click download and install PDF Exchange Viewer. Once you've got that downloaded and installed go to uh, JW.org Publications Kingdom Ministry go ahead and grab a Kingdom Ministry file um, make sure you download the PDF version. So once you've downloaded the PDF version, then you'll go ahead and open that file. In this case, we'll just open uh, this one. Right click and you'll click on Open with PDF Exchange Viewer. So here's our uh, October uh, Kingdom Ministry. So what we want to do is add some pop-up scriptures to anywhere in here where we see a scripture. So what we'll do is over under tools you'll go down to comment and markup tools and then at the bottom put a check mark next to show comment and markup toolbar. What this will do is put a toolbar up here and you'll want to click on this little uh, sticky note tool and then we'll just start by going to the first page of the Kingdom Ministry and we'll look for a scripture. And it looks like our first scripture is going to be right here so we'll throw a little pop up here and we'll type in 1 King 8 17 through 19 and what we'll do is go to the internet we'll go to watchtoweronline.jw.org so wol.jw.org we'll go to Bible and we want to get that scripture and that scripture is 1 Kings 8, 17 through 19. We'll come down here to 17. We'll hold the left button in and we'll hide or highlight everything. And then we'll right click and copy. We'll go back to our note. We'll click with the left button one time to make sure your cursor is flashing in there and then we'll right click and paste that'll be our scripture. Now since we've got several scriptures right here close together we'll go ahead and put more than one in one uh, pop-up. So the next one is going to be 1st Chronicles 29 3 through 9. So we'll go back to the Bible and what was that again? 29, 3 through 9. So we'll grab 3 through 9. Right click copy, go back, click left once, and then right click and paste, and we'll be done. So that's the two scriptures here. We've added a little pop up. Now, if you um, we don't need to add a second one. Now if you point at that, it'll show you your scriptures. If you have it on your device, you can, you'll have a scroll bar. You can scroll up and down and see everything in there. So we'll move on to the next one. Here we've got Matthew 6.22. So we've got a couple scriptures here. So we'll just drop one in here. 
and do Matthew 6, 22. And the other scripture in that paragraph is 1 Corinthians 16, 8, and 9. Corinthians 16, 8, and 9. So that's it for that one. We'll OK that one. Let's scan down through here. Looks like we got a couple here. So we'll throw one in here and we'll do Mark 14, 8. Basically, that's how you do it. So, uh, if you notice, we've got our links and we've got our scriptures here. And then, once you do the complete document, um, what you'll do is you'll come up to File and you'll Save As. I typically uh, name these, like for instance, this is October, so I'll do October 2014 KM PDF with links. That's usually what I'll, how I'll name these and then uh, you'll be able to email those to yourself and uh, grab the file on your device. Check your email on your device and grab those files and uh, you'll be in business. You'll be able to uh, use a standard PDF file on your Android device. You'll have a, a uh, pop-up scripture as long as you use the original Adobe Reader on the Android, some others may do it, but I know Adobe Reader will let these pop up, so it, you know it feels pretty smooth. If you're using an Apple uh, iPad, then you can use Documents, which is the best, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Or you can do a, a Adobe Reader as well, and it works nice as, as well. So anyway, that's how to make a pop-up scripture or add a pop-up scripture to a PDF file. Thanks for watching my tutorial.